Hello, this is Thomas Sutpaka speaking. Following areas are related to mobile testing. This is the test management, manage, the concrete test automation on the mobile device, automate, and service virtualization to virtualize backends and engage feedback in an early stage. We will focus on functional testing with the Rational Test Workbench. As you can see, there will be a client directly installed on the mobile device for the recording and the execution of the tests, and you can edit and enhance the tests with the Rational Test Workbench on your local PC. The Rational Test Workbench is used for storing and modifying and editing tests. To record tests we must connect to a device. We can connect to a device via Wi-Fi or USB. The connection information is shown with the IP address, for example. We already have installed the client on our device. Now we configure or verify the configuration of our client, the IP address of our workbench is stored, and now with this information all available applications for testing are also shown in our device. Applications for testing can be Android or iOS or web applications. You can add new applications through your test workbench. These applications will be available immediately to your connected devices for recording and test execution. Now we will record a test. For this we just use a simple calculator on our device. We can just use the application as we would use the application on the device by just simple recording. When we have finished the recording, the test script will directly transfer to the Rational Test Workbench and available for modification. You can see here the incoming test script. We can position the test in our organizational structure of the mobile testing project. Here is sample recording and we can directly edit the test afterwards. As you can see the test script is no programming. The test script is a natural language with supporting information of the graphical user interface. The object identification is done by several graphical objects and you can do the actions you want to configure. In this case we also want to verify the value we have on the display. Here we configure our verification point also for an error because we change the expected value to a wrong value. Now we store it and we can execute the test from the workbench or directly from the mobile device. First we will execute the test from the mobile device directly. You can access the test script which we just created directly on the mobile device and execute it directly from the device itself. Now the test runs. Now the objects will identify it directly on the mobile device and running the test. When a test has finished, a new log will be created. This log will be available for 
the workbench and also directly on a mobile device. You can directly go to our failure we created. The verification fails because we changed the value for expectation to a wrong value. You have seen you can execute directly the tests from the mobile device itself. If you want to run a test directly from the test workbench, we must configure our mobile client for passive mode. We will test now our banking application with a predefined test inside the workbench. Now we will open the test for our mobile banking application we already recorded and enhanced. This test contains two loops for data iteration. That means using different users and verify different items inside our application. For the loops we use data pools. The data pools can be imported as CSV files or directly added inside Rational Test Workbench. You can use the data pool for verification and data import. Now we will execute the test directly from the workbench. We select the right device and we also record resource monitoring to get the information what was the response time for each step. You can see the test starts on the mobile device and on the left hand side you can monitor during the test execution the log creation inside the Rational Test Workbench. Each step will be documented with a screenshot and the action which was taken in the log. You can see we log on as Joe Smith and verify our accounts. During this time we will verify different items inside our account. Currently everything is green and it is working. We are running the first iteration of our test for Joe Smith. Now we will start with Julie Brown and verify also the displayed name after the login. The displayed name will be shown after the login in the right upper corner. Now we are in the second iteration of our test. Julie will log on and we will verify that the log on name is not displayed. As you can see there is still Joe Smith. We use the data pool also for the data verification. That means the input and the verification data comes directly from the data pool. We have the iteration, the same iteration like before, to the data inside the account. This data is still valid and OK. Later on, we can verify this in detail in our result log. When a test is finished, all information is actually transferred to the Rational Test Workbench and we will examine the results in detail. We will have several result logs. The detailed information with all user interactions we have seen and the result log which is in a TPTP format. It shows every single user interaction and iteration information, all loops and all steps. Let us take a look in the result format we already know. Here I want to highlight the response time measurement for each step. You can see the response time it takes to react for the application. This was functional testing with the Rational Test Workbench for mobile devices. I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching. Bye.